aerial view is really cool actually. Cool rock formations. Those are the hoodoos. All right, so just from that Fairyland parking lot, the view's right off the bat. We're going down because we're going uh, clockwise. But, you know, the Fairland Loop is about 10.8 miles. No, it's only eight miles. Oh, eight miles. Thanks, Sandy. And uh, over 2,000 feet of climbing. But if we add on with the Garden Trail or the Peekaboo, get out on another three to five miles. It is quite warm and the sun is intense. And we're at a bit of altitude too. About 8,000 feet. Put everything in metric there, the text. Yeah, really beautiful rocks. Trail's a little lumpy. Looks like it's been muddy and they got rutted out, but right now it's just dry and hard. Uh, decent traction, not too technical. Pretty wide double track. Real popular hiking trail, so uh, we're hitting this on a weekday. Kind of in the off season, shoulder season more. It'll be pretty hot in the summer though. About three and a half miles in. We go down and then we got a big climb. Look at that rock. Almost four miles in with that metric there. Actually have a big downhill first before the climb. As you can see there. So actually there's a little appendage trail for 200 yards that came out to, it's called Tower Bridge. So we're checking out on the loop. So yeah, big climb here, between four and a half, about five miles in. Around six miles in though, we'll get to the Sunrays Point and a bunch of trail intersections. Other parking options too, I think. All right, so we're at this intersection. Fairland View, that's where we started, I think. So on the rim trail. So to go back to the parking lot and close off just the ferry, ferry line loop part, we would go up there and go back. But since we're doing some extra miles uh, in the garden and going out to Sunrise Point, we're gonna add on a bit, but there's quite a few trails over here in another parking space I've, or a parking lot I've heard. So we'll see, it'll probably be quite a bit more crowded.
So there's a deck up here. Definitely a lot more crowded. All right, so going down, it's a steep downhill off of Sunrise Point there on the garden loop, garden trail. Quite crowded though. Still going down to Queen's Garden. All right, so bottoming out Queen's Garden. Then we'll go up Navajo Trail, or finish off the loop. So the viewpoint, Queen Victoria up there. We're gonna go towards Sunset Point, I think. So yeah, could do an extra, looks like Wall Street's closed, but the Navajo Loop. Peekaboo is down that way. I think we're gonna close off. All right, so we're gonna close off this Queen's Garden Loop by climbing up the Navajo Loop, basically doing a clockwise circle. Uh, but there are add-ons you could do, or if you started over here, parked over here, there's lots of trails to explore. Things are getting steep. Go straight up to Sunrise Point. Pretty far in. It's a pretty steep trail. Given the hiking crowds, it's probably better to power hike as well. Go straight up to Sunrise Point. Pretty cool. Switchbacks, kind of similar to the Grand Canyon. All right, so closing the Queen's Garden loop off, coming up the top Navajo Trail. Then we'll get back on Fairyland and close off our figure eight loop. Got a view over here. Now we're closing off Fairyland Loop Trail to complete our figure eight. That's what we basically did. The biggest loop was definitely this Fairyland, which highly recommend, especially if you're a runner. <laughs> but it's cool to hike around on those shorter, steeper trails that are very touristy and crowded, but offer cool ways to get in the rocks and take pictures and stuff like that. Sunrise. Coach Sandy says? Yeah, I do the shorter loop at sunrise. It is called it's Sunrise cool. Point. Yeah. Get here at first light. Might come back at sunset. Check out Sandy's channel, Running Wild. Almost lost my GoPro piece off this edge. I had to save it with my Insta360 stick. Anyway, we're finishing up the loop. Almost back to the parking lot. All right, back to the parking lot. We got closer to 11.4 miles for the whole figure eight, but nice day, cooled off a bit, got a little windy. But uh, definitely check weather conditions, check the maps, and stay tuned for more trail adventures. Thanks for subscribing on here, liking these videos, and for the Patreon supporters. Of course, my title sponsor, Hoka.